So we have partnered with Wildlife Drones to adapt their current technology to be used on a fixed wing aircraft. Using the wildlife drone system, we are able to track 40 bats at one time simultaneously. Previously, the tracking system we used, we could only listen to one frequency at a time. And when you cycle through, even at like three seconds per frequency, there's still a lot of downtime where you could potentially miss a signal. So with wildlife drones, we're hoping to become more efficient and more effective in tracking mass amounts of bats. Being able to track 30, 40 bats at once is phenomenal. That'll save a lot of time when you're searching for a lot of bats during the day and give you that confidence that you're not missing one. Uh, but their drone technology in general could save ground crews a lot of time instead of driving around, hiking up on ridges, listening for where bats could be. If they have a drone with them in the wildlife drone technology, they can fly the drone, get triangulation, and have some place to start to hone in on that tree. Okay, so we're out back uh, tag tracking today. We have some tiny, tiny little tags that we're going to track with our radio tracking system on the drone. What we want to do is find out how far away we can pick up these tags in the different particular context that a bat occurs. So I'm going to pop this tag up, just tuck it into the bark here as high as I can, can reach. Um, we'll just slide it in there. And that way we get a real true sense of um, the, the tag in, it, in its context of where a bat might roost. Obviously bats also roost at the tops of trees in hollows so we can try that but right now we're going to try with one resting underneath the bark. So what we want to do is see how our system performs tracking these small tags and exactly um, how effective it is so that people can get a really good feeling for what sort of an area they can cover in a single flight. You can simply have your animals out there and start flying and see where all of the major peaks are and which tags you're picking up immediately. So I was super excited we've been able to pick up those bat tags really easily, get some good locations on them. It means you can save immense amounts of time and effort for people who really need to better understand bat roosting sites um, and bat locations, whether it be on a tree trunk, in a hollow or in a cave. Uh, tracking all of the animals at the same time and being able to get that real-time feeds back to the base station um, is a game changer. So hopefully that will really have a great impact on bat researchers' capacity to collect more data on these fascinating creatures.